Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight world? This your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on three big dogs in this fight game. We have Ted Fimo Lopez to take over. The former unified lightweight world champion man that's campaigning that super lightweight now. Then we have Vasily Lomachenko, the former unified um, lightweight world champion. Also a three division world champion. Then we have Devin the Dream Haney, the undisputed lightweight world champion. And a man that's carrying the crown, you know what I'm saying, at the lightweight division. But we all know Devin Haney just came off defending his undisputed crown, defeating George Cambosis once again in Australia. Unanimous decision, putting on a spectacular performance, going out there whipping um George Cambosis' ass. Now it comes to the fact of what is Devin the Dream Haney going to do next. Now we know Devin and his father, they love the call out fighters. They love the call-out fighters. They called out Lomachenko. They called out Javante Tank Davis. They called out Ryan Garcia. They want all the smoke with everybody. They want all the smoke with everybody, even taking a stupid-ass contract to go whip George Cambosis. But now people are saying, will he fight Lomachenko or will he duck Lomachenko to go to 140 and fight Teofimo Lopez next? If that's his next fight, which a lot of people don't feel like that's going to be his next fight. But people are saying, what is Devin the Dream Haney going to do next? You know what I'm saying? Now, Lomachenko, we all know, went on a two-fight win streak. Then after that, he went to the war. He had an opportunity to fight for, you know, the undis I mean, the unified champion against George Kambosis. But, you know, he had to go back to, Aust I mean, sorry, to the Ukraine and participate in the war. Now Lomachenko is back and he got a fight coming up against Jermaine Lopez. And on his way back, you know, the Haney said that, why is Lomachenko not saying our name? Why is he not trying to fight us? Why is he not trying to fight us? Why is he not trying to fight us? But now that they got through with their situation and Lomachenko finna get done with his situation, um, will they take on the facility Lomachenko, the toughest fight of Devin the Dream Haney career? We all know on paper. You know, we everybody know Lomachenko is a bad boy. We know the skill set he possesses. Like I said, three division world champion, former unified world champion, losing that um his titles too. Ted Fimo Lopez, and you know, a lot of people want to see Devin take on Lomachenko, but some people feel like that Devin might go to 140 and try to face this man right here in Ted Fimo Lopez. You know what I'm saying? Try to face Ted Fimo Lopez next, which I don't think he's going straight to 140 to get T.O. I don't know if that's going to be a, a, a possibility or not. Ted Fimo was at 140. He had got his first victory at 140. Looked at spectacular, right? Got a stoppage. Now he might be looking forward to try to get him a title shot at the division. And him fighting Devin Haney right away at 140, I don't think that's a title shot that's that's going to be in play unless, unless, you know, titles get um, vacated and they get an opportunity to fight for a vacant title. Now we know Devin is the undisputed champion, so he might have a better chance than Ted Fimo coming up. We'll have to see about that. But do Ted Fimo want Devin Haney at 140 when he could have fought Devin Haney at 135? When he was the unified champion and had an opportunity to face Devin Haney for undisputed. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people looked at him as undisputed, but we all know the franchise. We don't rock with the franchise. So he could have fought Devin Haney at the lightweight division for undisputed. Now, it's going to all land in Devin Haney, on Devin Haney, sorry. Right? We know that he signed a three-fight contract with Bob Irm. He, he, he fought two of those things with fighting George Cambosis once, and then he fought him twice. And now it looks like he got one more. He has one more. Now the rumors are Devin's supposed to go watch Lomachenko fight um, when Lomachenko fit to take on, I, I believe, what's my man's name? I said it, Jermaine Lopez, um, October 29th, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that, but I think the date is October 29th when Lomachenko, you know, making his return to the ring to show people that the Matrix is still alive. High tech is still alive you understand what i'm saying so he want to go on there and do all that shit whoop this boy ass and you know we're gonna see if Devin get into the ring and they make that happen a lot of people feel like this Devin haney at the way ends of the george can rematch a lot of people said that Devin looked at drain they said that he looked at drain they said that you know he killed himself to make weight so he came in with the glasses on and when he when he smiled his face looked sucked in and you know what I'm saying? Just say that he wasn't, the boy wasn't looking right. Let's just put it like that. They feel like the boy killed himself to make weight. And they feel like right now with the lightweight division, you know, he'll kill himself to make weight once again to fight Lomachenko. 
But, you know, people are not worrying about that. A lot of people are saying, you know what, Dave, you've been running your mouth. You've been saying this. You've been saying that. Now you got your final, I mean, your, 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 your toughest test coming up in Lomachenko because a lot of people feel like you were supposed to do what you did to George Cambosis. I'm going to repeat this. A lot of people feel like Devin Haney did what he was supposed to do against George Cambosis, especially after shutting him out in the first fight. People knew George didn't have a chance, but George did a got George did great business and bringing um, Devin Haney back to Australia to fight, you know, once again and make him some million dollars. So either or, he, he took a million dollar ass whooping. Now, Devin Haney has his toughest task ahead of him now. His toughest task because people feel like, look, George Cambosis was supposed to be. Um, washed up Gamboa, they say Gamboa was washed up. They say Lenores was washed up. They say JoJo was small coming up. So people feel like Devin Haney really haven't fought no tough competition. They feel like he haven't really fought no tough competition. Now that you got Lomachenko in the mix, people feel like Loma is his toughest competition, like I said on paper, and they want to see that fight. Now, we all know Devin Haney wanted to fight Lomachenko before, but Lomachenko had business to take care of with in-house, with Tiffimo Lopez, the fight that he ended up losing. And a lot of people feel as if, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man, he dug Devin Haney. He didn't want to fight Devin Haney. He dug Devin. He had an opportunity to do this. He had an opportunity to do that. Devin don't owe him nothing. But listen, Devin the one that's calling out Lomachenko. Devin and his father say Lomachenko was ducking them when he came back. So they said they want to face the man. Well, we want to fight the man. You know what I'm saying? That's his daddy. So, you know, they want to face all the tough competition. So now you got the stiffest and your toughest competition and Lomachenko and credit. If Devin go beat Lomachenko, that does wonders for his career. If he go beat Lomachenko, you know, they're looking for that Javante Tank Davis it factor to where everybody want to face you and you can go on pay-per-view and things of that nature. I think Lomachenko helps seals that deal for Devin the Dream Haney. I really do. I feel like if Devin go beat Lomachenko, you know, that's going to put a, a, a big ass, a big ass exclamation mark. You know what I'm saying? On his career. But do they want that fight? Do they want that fight? And if they don't fight Lomachenko, is it a duck, duck, goose? <laughs> a duck, 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 the goose? Is it? Is it a duck, duck, goose? Da -da -da. Now, we know all the channels that love Devin so much, that praise Devin Dirty Draws. You know, if they go say, well, Lomachenko never wanted to fight Devin, he ducked him. So Devin don't owe him nothing. Devin don't need to fight Lomachenko. If Devin want to go to 140, Devin can go to 140. He don't need to do X, Y, and Z. Fuck a Lomachenko. What he do? What he do? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, they go scream all that shit. But they the ones that were screaming out Lomachenko's name. They the ones that said they want to face Lomachenko. They the ones that say Lomachenko ducked them. They the ones say they going to beat the shit out of Loma this, that, and third. So now, do they got to live up to that, or do they run from it? Do they live up to it, or do they run from it? You feel me? They say everybody's ducking them. Tank ducking, Loma ducking, this guy ducking, that guy ducking. He don't want to fight. He don't want to fight. So now, Loma get past Jermaine Lopez, and Loma say, Hey, Devin, um, I take you on. I want the Devin Haney fight. Um... I ain't no scared of no one. I feel this in my belts. He has my belts. So I want to fight him. And uh, I show him that he's okay. He's a good fighter. I like his his, his jab. He got one jab. But I am not, uh, what's his name? Uh, Josh Kenbosis. I am not Kenbosis or whatever the fuck his name is. I love Machinko. I take. And um, I've been with Devin Haney ass. I know I whip Devin Haney ass. And... When I whip his ass, I want his father to cut his hair. You know what I mean? I want him to cut his hair. And and then and, and, and that's that. And uh, I don't give him a rematch. I kick his ass and I send him to 140. Eh? And then I go and I go and I fight maybe Shakur. Maybe Shakur next. Eh? Maybe Shakur. You know what I'm saying? So if, if Loma call Devin out and they go to 140, is it a duck, duck? Goose, hey, 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 duck, duck, goose, hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? So we'll just see. And then going to 140, like I said, I don't think they get no TFEMO fight you know, right away, bro. They're not getting TFEMO right away. That's just how I feel. I feel like TFEMO going to feel like, I mean, they have to do something. You know, you know how T.O. be talking and shit. You want them to come up and do something. You feel like this, that, and the third. But we will find out, man. Like Devin being undisputed, like I say, him going up, I think he get a, a shot at a world title quicker than Tiafimo, even though Tiafimo got one fight at 140, by Devin being undisputed, you know what I'm saying, he get he get to have, you know, an option, you know what I'm saying, he get to have an option, so we'll see how that play out, maybe he do get a Tiafimo, a Tiafimo Lopez fight, maybe Tio do step up to the plate and fight for a vacant title, who knows fam, who knows, all I know is this, 
damn near been calling out Lomachenko for a while. Um, if Lomachenko is available, we know Lomachenko is with Bob Irm. We know Bob Irm wants Lomachenko to be undisputed. Um, Devin Haney is right there with all the scraps. Lomachenko make good business sense. A lot of people talking about Devin and Shakur. Um, Shakur don't make more business sense than Lomachenko. So, you know, if they make the Lomachenko fight happen, I have a lot of respect for him. And we'll see how it play out. You feel me? We'll see how it play out. But, like I say, if he don't fight him, is it a duck? And if he go up and, he, and if he don't fight Teofimo Lopez and he fights somebody lesser than Teofimo Lopez, is it a duck? You know what I'm saying? They like to call a lot of people ducks and people doing this. Is it a duck on their behalf? Let me know what y'all think in the comments. And today, it's your boy Money. It's the NSBC move. And everybody's safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You want to donate OG Money on Cash App. Trey have to fit it to at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend, hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.